Hey guys, it's been a while. Thought I would uh, take a trip down memory lane with my completed playset uh, Hobby League cards. It took me a while to complete the set. Basically, reinforcements the army is crazy expensive and I didn't want to do it, but I finally sucked it up, so I figured we can check this out. Uh, you know, the first Hobby League cards, uh, some of you guys might not know, actually were super rares and commons rather than the typical uh, parallel rare that you guys might have remembered in your mind. Um, that being said though, that only uh, is included in the first wave of Hobby League cards. So we got the Lord of the Lamp, Green Kappa Super Rare, a Legendary Ocean Common, Leviah Dragon, these are Super Rare, the Common Fusion Gate, the Super Rare King of the Swamp. So that completes the first wave and then it gets typically uh, into the cards you typically might remember in your mind of the ultra rare parallel cards where you can see kind of a, a thicker gloss to it as well as the parallel I guess like grid like rarity to it it's hard to pick up in the camera but I will definitely have a closer better image for you guys uh, anyways we got a three cyber dragon three mystical space typhoon three sangan uh, one thing to note about this is there's actually no rule saying you can't use these type of cards. There's no rarity of cards you're not allowed to use in tournaments. However, people generally didn't play these in high level tournaments purely because it is so thick that you could actually see it when you're shuffling and in the deck. So people didn't want to get called out by strict judges or let's just say you heavy storm one too many games in a row and uh, they happened to realize your heavy storm was, you know, hobby league, you could get uh, disqualified or warning for that as well so typically people didn't play this in a high level tournaments but for locals and whatever else you'd like to play it's it's definitely okay uh, next we have a play set of storms marauding captain fissure giant rats creature swap and trap holes uh, just heavy storm is the main one that people would have played out of this stuff here but uh, giant rats if you played mill shout outs to Alex <laughs> uh, next we have spear dragon Mystic Tomato, Royal Decree, very, very um, popular back in the day as a side deck. Dark Balter, great for goat decks, uh, Exiled Force, and Swords of Being Light. One of the things I like about uh, the Hobby Leagues too is it's a, got a bunch of different types of cards and, and monsters and stuff that I would have played back in my For Fun deck because I was a noob back in the day. So it really also triggers the walk down memory lane pretty good stuff. Uh, Azura Priest, Graceful Charity, Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer, Torrential Tribute, the Crystal Beast, and a Green Gadget. There is all three of the gadgets in the Hobby League set as well, just, just so you guys know. Mainly just the Graceful Charity is the card of noting in, in this page here. Kaiku is pretty good too, but you know, Graceful Charity is a pretty damn good card. Uh, Crystal Beacon, Dekuichi, Zanji. It's a little annoying that this is the only uh, one that was printed like this because I used to play Samurais back in the day and I had to play one Zanji and so a high rarity Zanji was the parallel. So it was kind of whack. Um, got three scapegoat. Uh, not to be confused with the retro pack uh, ultra unfortunately, but uh, still very nice. Super thick. Three noblemen of cross out. Three limiter removal hate this card. Died a lot to that. Three DD Warrior Lady. Three Reinforcements of the Army. This is the one that took me the most to complete in the set. Uh, the collection purely be out, out of the price um, because GOAT format uh, people play Reinforcements of the Army in Warriors, which is a powerful and popular deck. So yeah, that's why that took so long. Everything else I kind of had for the longest time. Uh, three Call of the Haunted. Three Shining Angel, and uh, this is where it gets a little interesting as well. Uh, starting from the Monster Reborn, the Ultra Rares don't have the parallel on them. It just kind of is the super thick uh, Ultra Rare that you're, you're expecting, but without the grid lines of the foiling on it, um, which is, you know, it's fine. Still like it. I actually might prefer this over the, the parallel ones, purely out of the fact that back in the day I used to run my deck with sleeves that had like glittery effects on them and stuff like that so it really clashed with my overall foiling and as much as I like to see shiny cardboard I want to be able to read my cards. 
So we have the, yeah, we have the Monster Reborn, we have the Neo Spatian Grand Mole, a great one of in many old school decks is a kind of a card to take care of anything, especially Synchros. Uh, Dark Dust Spirit, saw a bunch of playing Monarchs, as well as the Red Gadget and the Yellow Green Gadget over here, or the, yeah, the Red Gadget and the Yellow Gadget over here. And Card of Safe Return, although this was ultra rare in a pack that came out, so most people played that one instead. But I hope you enjoyed this little collection here, and uh, maybe it reminded you of the cards that you used to play, and maybe you'll go pick up a Hobby League card yourself. Uh, until the next video, uh, thanks for watching, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.